Hi everyone, uh, so I'm pretty excited about today's video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to use somatic tools or somatic exercises to help regulate our system. How do we integrate that into our lives? Um, so you may have picked up somatic tools or exercises from my YouTube channel or really anywhere else. And I know in the past I've been at a loss for how do I use this tool? When do I use it? Um, do I just use it, you know, when I'm panicking? Or feeling anxiety or feeling really down um, so the answer is yes you can definitely use tools uh, when you're feeling panicked or when you're feeling really lethargic however we also want to build it into our lives using those tools regularly so um, we'll talk about how to do it and then I'll show you three tools that I really like uh, that I personally use to help um, build nervous system regulation or build capacity as well. So the first thing we want, the first way that we want to use them is we want to build them into our lives, um, kind of in a scheduled manner. So you could do this a couple ways. You can do it by putting a timer on your phone and choose what feels best for you. It doesn't, it shouldn't ever feel overwhelming. So maybe you pick three times a day, maybe morning, afternoon, and in the evening. And you set a timer and when that timer goes off you just take a moment and use one of your tools you could also um, pair it with maybe an activity um, like each time you wash your hands um, or each time you use the washroom whatever works for you um, but pick pick something that you can stick to and that doesn't feel overwhelming and of course if um, you're missing like times that you've scheduled out to do your tools that's not a big deal either we want to have lots of compassion and understanding as we do this because it sometimes can be hard to uh, sit with the body, feel the body. So um, the reason we want to do that and not just use our tools when we're experiencing something difficult is because when we are less overwhelmed, less triggered, um, our nervous system is more online. Our prefrontal cortex in our brain is more online when we're not feeling panicked we're not feeling overwhelmed and then when we're doing our tools your body can take that in a little bit easier and you can build these pathways you know when Nicole myself my brain's going when Nicole you know does this tapping thing I remember that feeling really good and that helps regulate me and so when I'm in a situation where I am feeling overwhelmed it's a little easier um, for my body to quickly start to regulate so that's why we want to do it um, not like throughout the day on a schedule, uh, not just when we're feeling overwhelmed. And then, of course, so first is we're scheduling it. Um, then the second time that we're going to use our tools is when we are feeling overwhelmed or perhaps you have a premeditated um, task that you're going to do. And when we have something that we're going to do that might feel a little bit much, excuse me, what we want to do is we want to use our tools and regulate before the activity or the task, during, and then after. Um, and that can be really supportive too. Um, so with that said, I'm going to show you three of my favorite tools uh, that I really like uh, to use. So the first one is the Vu Breath um taught by or made popular and taught by uh, dr peter levine so the vu breath is you're literally making the sound vu v-o-o when i make this um you want to bring the sound up from your belly and if it's helpful you can also um place your hands on your belly and your chest to just feel your body when you're doing this <sighs> so i think I'm pretty sure my mic is going to pick up the sound and then fade off because it's just a strange vibrational sound, but you'll get the idea. It's kind of like a foghorn sound. Um, so first, before we do any tool, we're just going to notice how our body feels. So just noticing the feet, maybe wiggle the toes, feeling the legs, the hips, maybe wiggle the hips or shift your weight back and forth. 
Now I'm touching my belly, but if you're not, just noticing the belly, the torso, the breath entering through the lungs, and the neck, and the head. Maybe take a quick look around. And now we'll do that sound. So I'm just going to do it two times. Mm. And now just noticing, scanning through the body, looking around the room, and just noticing if you feel anything different. Okay? And so what the VU sound does is it's kind of a deep vibrational um, tone that's going through your body and literally stimulates the vagus nerve with the vibrations that you're producing with your own voice. So it's pretty cool. Um, so try that one out. I know people don't always feel doing that comfortable in public. I never do. It's something I definitely do when I have some privacy, uh, but I find that one really, really effective. Um, the second one is going to be some tapping. So I'm just going to, um, we're just going to focus on two areas just to make it um, like quick and effective. Um, so Again, before you use the tool, just notice how you feel. Notice how your breath is moving in and out. And just notice your, the area or the room that you're in. And then this will be a little loud because of my mic, but we're going to tap just below the collarbone. Um, I find this feels really good. So we're going to tap there for about 10 seconds. And I just noticed that I took a deeper breath, which is a nice sign of regulation. And then we're going to move just to the rib cage. Just anywhere on the rib cage is fine. And we're going to tap there for 10 seconds. Just noticing how you feel. Noticing how the tapping feels. There I go again with my deeper breath. And rest. Good. And remember, um, signs that are we're experiencing a little bit more regulation in our nervous system could be that the breath spontaneously deepens. I'm not doing that on my own when I'm taking those deeper breaths. Could also be like movement in the digestive system, um, like burping, gurgling, um, even uh, farting. And um, yeah, and sometimes you can just notice that you're a lot more present with your surroundings as well. So there's things like that that you can look for. Okay, our third tool, I really love this one. Um, and this can be really nice if you're sitting in a chair with a back, just for some extra support. So what we're gonna, gonna do is, again, just noticing how you feel. And then we're going to take our right hand, so your right hand, and then slide it under your left armpit. Notice how that feels. And then we're going to take our left hand, reach across, and grab the middle of the arm. Just feeling that security with your own uh, hug or your own self-hold. And just breathe into that. And now we're just going to add in a little bit of rocking side to side, originating from the tailbone. If you're standing up, you could also do this and shift your weight from one foot to the other and noticing how that feels. 
and always eyes open or closed. I close my eyes a lot because it, it just helps me feel my body a lot easier. But some people may not like that, may not feel safe or it could feel overwhelming. So in that case, just keep your eyes open, whatever feels best to you. And it could change, you know, from day to day. Just doing some rocking. Notice what it feels like to be held by you. And you could pair this with the voo sound if you wanted to, or the voo breath. And I usually tend to do this one a little longer, maybe because it feels really good. I don't know. I just like to do it longer. There's a burp. Remember, that's a sign of nervous system regulation. Okay, and let's bring it to the middle. And again, just noticing how it feels to be held. And dropping the arms. Notice how it feels to drop the arms and have them by your side. Awesome. So those are my three favorite tools, but use, you don't have to use three. You can use one tool. And if that one tool works for you, for you, use it all the time. And I would actually suggest not using, you know, 20 different tools um, or exercises. Pick just a couple that work well for you. And maybe different ones will work um, best at different times. Maybe when you're feeling a little more anxious, um, maybe the, the tapping um, or sorry, the self hold and the rock will really help. Maybe when you're feeling down, um, the tapping will really help. So choose what works best for you. Listen to your own body because you're going to know what's best and what works. Um, yeah. So as a new channel, please, uh, like subscribe, comment. I would love to hear what tool works best for you or anything, um, that you're noticing in your body as you do this. Um, please make a comment, let me know. And um, remember, so there's two times we're using this, either um, scheduled to set a timer on your phone, um, do it every time you go use the washroom. And then also when we are dysregulated, we can use it or we know we're gonna take a challenging step. Um, when we know we're gonna take that challenging step, we wanna use our tools before, uh, during and after if possible. All right, have a great day.